Hi guys. Sorry for the delay. <laughs> Kitty, get down. Vern, get down. Get down right now. Who do you think you are? Good Lord have mercy. Hi guys. Um... Sorry for the delay, technical difficulties. Ooh, my goodness, look at my hair. <sighs> Let's see. Hey, Mike, how are you? I see Mike in the back. I see both of them. Look at those scoundrels on my counter. What did I say? Get down. Get down. Sorry, guys. Get down. Get down right now. I'm going to spank you. You won't listen, will you? Okay, I'm going to close the window. <sighs> Sorry you had to see the ugly side of me now. <laughs> How are you guys? Sorry, I could not get on again. Last night I had trouble. I came on for a quick live. Tonight, or today, same trouble. I really think it's my modem because when I'm uploading videos, it's been taking longer. So I put in a call to at and and they're coming out on Monday. So, fingers crossed. Oh, look at my little mug from my friend. Hi, Kim. Good, Mike. <laughs> Mike, did you get your package yet? I hope. Does anyone on right now have cats and understand my plight? drive me crazy sometimes and then I had my I asked my roommates my tenants I'm like are you guys on are you gaming or something what is why am I having issues lately because I have the police officer that lives here and the other tenant they both play games and I know that kind of bogs it down but I have like high high speed it's the same speed as like when you go into a Starbucks. So something is wrong. I think something's wrong. And this happens like every once in a while, I think. But I have lots of little gemstones, which I can't wait to show you guys. Um, oh, I missed that comment. Let me click onto my, um, my own video <laughs> and turn down the volume. Did you guys go out and buy some Black Friday goodies? I did. I only bought two things, but it took me a while, it seemed like. All right. <clears throat> there I am. Oh my gosh, my hair is a mess. I don't know. I've been running around. Oh well, that's just how it's gonna look for today. I'm drinking green tea and hibiscus tea. I do, Mike. Um, at the end of this, I'll email it to you. Yeah. Sorry, I meant to do that, actually. I'm, I'm usually really good with my tracking numbers, so you guys know where it's at. But you're in Michigan, right? Are you in Michigan? No, 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 no. Where are you at? I don't remember now. Okay, so I'm going to start with some gemstones. Texas, yes. Alrighty. I don't, I'm not sure if I showed you guys these. I think I did. Okay, so I don't want to show you all these. I don't want to be repetitive with the gemstones. Unless you guys want to see maybe from last week some of the gemstones, but. Okay. Hey, Dia. I'm trying to get everyone's names right. Dia, going on Grumpy's Barb. <laughs> and who's Dez? I can't, now I'm forgetting. I can't remember who Dez is. Something treasure? Jewelry treasure? Oy vey. Okay. So, last time we talked about how 
Um, so if you guys are new on here, um, my dad is a gemologist. I'm not. I'm just relaying what he... I kind of learned along with him some parts of it. And then um, it just kind of sunk in, but I've forgotten some of it. And so he kind of reminds me. And uh, But he's the gemologist and makes jewelry. Um, I am just selling it for him. And... So if I get something wrong, let me know. I know my dad always tells me at the end of a live, oh, you said this. It's called this. <laughs> so um, I have a, a lot of gemstones from him that he bought um, years ago. So these gemstones are gemstones you can't get anymore sometimes, or the, and the mines are closed. Um, so these are gemstones he's passing on to you guys because, um, some he got at a good price and some he's taking a loss on them because, you know, that's just how it goes. Gold and silver, same thing. But, um, we have so many gemstones, that's why we're just sort of trying to blow through them. But we're going to start with these, um, chrome diopsides. Now they only come out of Russia, it's the only place you can get them. So... I mean, if anyone loves emeralds, which my dad does, and I told you guys the story about his emerald ring, um, if you guys find a men's emerald cut emerald ring, <laughs> let me know, because I would love to get it for him. I think it was in yellow gold, and I think he's, you know, he likes white gold and silver, but he, I think he would like that one to be the same. So if you guys run into a ring like that, let me know. Alright, so these are a pair of chrome diopsides. They are oval cut and they are matching, so they're from the same mine, the same host, and they are these, so you can make earrings out of them. They're very dark, so the darker, the better. Same thing with like amethyst. Um, and they're nice ovals. They are 0.85 carat each. And they are, I had to write everything on the back here, um, 8 by 6 millimeters, millimeter oval. I hope you can see the deep green. So see how they're totally matching in color? Same mine, same host. That's what you get when you get it from like your same, you know, uh, host of like the geode um, crystal where they grow. And I swear, my cats are so bad. Get down. <laughs> so these are these are a hundred dollars for the set, which he is taking a loss on these actually. Um, chrome diopside is a little bit harder to come by, so it's considered a little rare. Oh, well, there you go. You can kind of see the color when I tilt it. It's a nice cut. So when he bought these, he's definitely a gemstone hoarder. Um, he's never touched them or opened them. I did open one, and that was my fault, but I'm not selling that one now. Hi, Lynn. <laughs> I love black cats too, but she's a naughty one. She, I mean, she's so sweet, but she's definitely pushing the limits. Hey, Layla. Okay, so Layla, these are um, chrome, chrome diopside from Russia. It's the only place you can get them. Pretty gal. Wow. <laughs> Is that for me? <laughs> and so that is, these are the ovals, $100 for the set, and they're 8 by 6 millimeters and 0.85 carat each. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Lynn. I feel like I'm pretty inside. That's my best quality. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to move on from those, and I'm going to show you some, I think these are sky blue topaz. Oh, appetite, sorry. Um, so, these are great if you are a jeweler and you want to, to make jewelry, um, 
kind of like sandy and these are already pre-cut ready to go so they're when I tell you you know prices on these um, there's a lot of meat on the bone left so that you guys can resell them too oh thank you <laughs> thank you so much it's really nice <laughs> so these are um, five total carat weight for all of these and they're pre-cut so you can kind of see they're smaller rounds okay so this this is good for like um, the sides of rings along the bezel here um, something like that yes Layla the they are Russian and that's the only w place you can get the chrome diopside other than lab created but uh, these are from they're Russian Oh, thank you, Lynn. <laughs> so, oops. So these are a bunch of, I don't know how many are in here. It looks about like maybe 25, 30. It's kind of hard to see. Maybe more, maybe 50. No, I don't know. It's kind of hard to say. And I don't want to open the package with these little guys. But these are Appetite. So it's from the same mine, same post. It's a parcel. Yes, the chrome diopside, the matching ones that I had, the two matching ones were 100 for the set. These are $60 for the parcel. I feel like I'm selling like crystal meth or something in a little baggie. <laughs> Aren't they pretty? I just love that color. That is the color of my dad's eyes. Isn't that beautiful? He has such pretty eyes. And then my mom had green, really beautiful green eyes. So the next one, um, it's also parcel. And um, I'm trying to, I'm looking because I don't know if I showed you guys this one last time. I don't think I did. It looks like most of these are matching cuts. I know, I know, my dad has like aqua eyes, and um, my mom had really pretty green eyes, and my sister has like really pretty, like greeny, green hazel eyes. I love aquamarine too. I do have some aquamarine rings. I don't know if I showed you guys that last time. I think I may have showed one. These are rhodolite garnets, and it's also $60 for this parcel. Now, I don't know if you can see, they're all cut a little different. Here's, oops, here's a heart upside down. Uh, there's ovals, teardrops, marquees, uh, rectangular ovals, um, rounds. And these are 15 carats. And there's only one of the heart that I can see, but it looks like and then one of the rectangular, and then there's multiples of the ovals and marquee, I think. I think there's, okay, there's one marquee, one rectangular, one teardrop, and the rest are ovals and rounds. So it's kind of a nice mix, really. I love garnets because, um, I don't know if you guys know this, but rubies come in very different colors. But the ruby for your birth month is like a bright red, and I don't like it. But they do come in other colors. They come in blue, um, a green, um, like a darker color, like a garnet. And I don't know why they had to choose that red for the birthstone. Layla, these are, these are $60 for the parcel. So they're all pre-cut. All you have to do is set them in. Um, so if you have a jeweler or if you are a jeweler or you make jewelry like Sandy. Wow. Oh my gosh. I remember when Black Hills Gold was like it, you know. Um, my dad bought my mom a ring. Get this. At a grocery store. They had like a jewelry section. <laughs> These, Mike, these are rhodolite garnets. 
which I love garnets. They kind of match my blouse. I love that color. So one more key, one rectangular cut, um, one heart shape, and then the rest were ovals and rounds that seem to be matching, you know, at least to each other, a couple sets, three sets each, maybe in the rounds, and two or three, maybe two or three sets of the ovals. So, but more red. Oh, Mike, when is your birthday? What bir what month is that? I want more Black Hills Gold. I want a watermelon. Um, tourmaline. My dad loves tourmaline. Hi, V. No, I didn't get a lot of sleep. <laughs> uh, oh, it's January. Okay. No, I did not get a lot of sleep. I'm kind of tired. Then I started watching Cindy's live finishing up her jewelry for the auction. So I'm going to try to move through all of this so we can watch that auction for MSP. And um, January, okay. Um, and then I, I was trying to make coffee during her live and I'm like, where are my filters? I was freaking out. <laughs> okay, the next one. So guys, this is the one I dropped and I'm so sad. Also my lucky no. This is the fluorite. I dropped it. Look how big of a stone. Fluorite is, it's like a rare, more rare stone. Um, look at that cut. And I dropped it on my tile counter. And I chipped it somewhere. I know I did because I remember, oops, um, seeing it on the edge. Yep, here it is. My dad was not happy. <laughs> But, you know, it happens, so that's why I don't take them out of the boxes anymore. Um, I should have brought the tweezers, but... Oh, January babies are the best. <laughs> well, I thought cancers were the best. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. Oh, now this is pretty. Okay, so this is Oh, I can't read my writing. Okay. This is a Oh, you're a Cancer Lynn. Yay for Cancers. <laughs> We're awesome, huh? <laughs> By the way, the pieces are a bit expensive unless you have certificates for the gems. No certificates. Um, they are from closed mines and that my dad bought years ago. My other grandbaby is tomorrow. So that means, um, what is that sign? I don't, I'm bad with signs. This is a round Pariba. Um, it is a five and a half carat and 12 millimeter round. I'm not gonna take it out, but look at the color. Very different from, oh, Aquarius, okay. Um, oh my gosh, Lynn, you're my, my friend's birthday, the one that passed away. Um, the color is just beautiful on this one. And this one is 80. And it is five and a half carats yeah. Look at that color. Isn't that pretty? So it's going to be like, you know, at a point. If you hear my dogs in the background, I apologize. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. So here's, um, let me take this ring off. <clears throat> So this one, your February 3rd V. Oh, see, so you, you would have gone to Las Vegas during your birthday, huh, V? But I guess that kind of fizzled out. This is a kunzite, which kunzites are a little bit, mm, they're harder to get nowadays. I don't, I don't remember why my dad said, 
but it's 1.25 carats and it's an 8 by 6 millimeter um, and it's just an oval cut kunzite. I like that pale pinkish lavender. That's pretty. Isn't that pretty? This one is 70 on the kunzite. So we were going to try to get all these YouTubers together to go to Vegas, and it just fizzled out, and it was so sad. I mean, I wasn't coordinating it. There was two other people, and um, it just kind of fizzled out, so I'm kind of bummed. Yeah, kunzite's a little bit rare. Not like diapside, but... Um, so not quite like diapside or like tanzanite. But tanzanite is pretty. I think it's a bit overrated. It's a pretty stone. I like that it's periwinkle colored and it can be darker and lighter. I like that, but um, I think I like sky blue topaz better. Um, right, you don't see kunzite every day. That's true. It's like a pale pinkish Lavender, can you see what I'm saying? Yeah, so pretty. Okay, on to the next. This one is a... I don't know if I showed this one last time. Um, oh, whose birthday is it? Oh, Mike's, yes. This is a London Blue Topaz. <laughs> I love Topaz, too. Um, I like Zircons and Topaz a lot. Now this one is pricey because it's um, a big stone. It's 12 carats and it's an oval. It's an 18 by 13 oval. And it's 12 carats of the London Blue Topaz. And this one is 140. Yeah. <laughs> Holy. Holy shit. <laughs> so, like I said before, topaz and zircons are next in line to diamonds as far as the hardness of a stone. Um, and so, whether it's sky blue topaz, London blue topaz, it's the elements in a topaz um, that's very hard next to a diamond. So, I think it goes diamond. Zircon Topaz, if I can remember correctly. Layla, do you make jewelry? Or do you just like uh, resell? I don't know if she's still on here. Thanks, Kim. <clears throat> Why so many emojis? Oh, on, um, okay. <laughs> Did I show you guys this last time? I'm not sure if I showed you guys this one last time. I'm going to show it to you now. Then we'll get into some jewelry too, because I know not, every, not all of you are into gemstones. You might be more into the jewelry, so we'll get to that in a second. And then I'll do gemstones again, maybe towards the end. Oh, I like this one. I think I did show you guys this one last time. I think I want this one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I do. I love topaz, but oh, look at it. It matches my blouse. Okay. Hi, Elizabeth. So this is a pink topaz. It's that checkerboard cut that I couldn't remember last weekend, remember? So look, see the checkerboard? Oops, on the gemstone. Um, it's 12.98 carats, and it is an 18 by 13 oval. Um, I know. I want a ring. I had a ring very similar to this, and I took it off to wash my hands at a restaurant, and I left it there. So mad. 
Um, because this one is so big and it's a pink topaz, this one's 150. Look at that. I like this one. <laughs> Matches my blouse. This would be great as a pendant and a ring. Okay, next one. I showed you guys that one. All right, here is an ametrine. I think I, I told you guys how ametrines grow. They um, grow in a host where the amethyst and citrine are next to each other, and then the elements start to bleed together, basically. they, And then they create this stone, which is called ametrine. And this is, you can really see, ametrines are expensive. Had a jewelry store in the 1980s, a lot of stones. Oh, really, Kim? Does he still sell or um, still have his stones? <laughs> Um, this one is 95. It is an 11 by 9, 9, 11 by 9 millimeter, and it's 3.4 carats of ametrine. So you can easily see the color differentiation that goes from the yellow to the lavender. This is a really popular cut with ametrine. Helps to see the color differentiation, the great, you know, the graduating, the ombre effect, basically. Isn't that pretty? Oh, Kim, I'm so sorry. I think you told me that last night. Sorry. You should start selling them on YouTube. It might be hard to get rid of, though. Um, it's hard for me to get rid of my parents' stuff. Um, this one is only 95. And the other ones I showed you last week, which were smaller, were 50. So this is a good deal because you can really see the color difference. Oops, there we go. So what did I say? This is three point, almost three and a half carats of ametrine. Okay. I don't want to show that one. That's not my favorite stone. Okay, here is, um, This one, my dad and I, I took notes on this one because I remember him saying that this was a special mine. I don't remember what he said about it, but it's closed. And um, I guess there's only like five mines maybe for these opals. Um, and it's from Australia. So you know how Australia has really nice opals, um, the milky white ones. Um, there's a lot of fire in this. It is a 14 by 10 millimeter oval, and this one is 175. I had to write like all the notes on the back. Um, I know it's hard to see the fire in it, but um, so how many carrots? Oh, I didn't write it down. Shoot. This one is 175 because of it being from a closed mine, and uh, there we go. You kind of see the fire in there. I would think this would be a really nice um, pendant because you, you have to remember the milky white opals are, they break very easily. So... Okay, Layla, if you're checking out, bye. <laughs> yeah, email me. Um, it's creative, Lori, and then a two at Gmail. Um, so pretty. I do love opals. I remember my eighth grade graduation ring had an opal in it, and my dad said, be very careful because they can break so easily. Um, oh, really? You used to call these watermelon tourmaline? Um, watermelon tourmalines, yeah, I heard that. Um, I don't have them here today, but I know my dad has some. Do they look like the opals, the milky white opals? I'm curious now. It's 
I, I think this is great because I kind of learn alongside with you guys. All right, this one. Oh, yes, I remember this one. My dad said this is a rare one. Watermelon tourmaline. Isn't that a newer tourmaline? Uh, this couple found it, and then they deemed it watermelon tourmaline. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. There's so much information, and my dad gives it to me, and it's like, oh my gosh, I go on information overload sometimes, but um, he's just so smart with that sort of thing. I mean, he just absorbs everything. Oh, okay. The opal-looking one. Okay. This is a labradorite, and it's 1.10 carat, and it's an 8 by 6 millimeter uh, rectangular um, and this is a rare one labradorite labradorite and this one's 150 that's a very interesting color isn't it <laughs> guys don't look at my cuticles or my nails <laughs> I don't do my nails <laughs> So, Labradorite, lab Labradorite, Labradorite, okay, that's a hard one for me to say, I don't know why, 1.1 carat. <clears throat> okay, the next one, oh, I showed you guys these last week, okay, I don't want to show them to you again. I think I may have showed you these also, I think I did, okay, I don't want to show you, the, I don't want to be repetitive. Yeah. So I went to run a couple errands to send out some more packages of jewelry. And um, I didn't make my post office. I thought they said they closed at 1, but they closed at noon. And while I was out, I went and got <laughs> from this cute little convenience deli store some um, tuna fish that they do, which is really good. And it comes with like pita chips and vegetables. And then I remembered, I'm like, why did I buy food? I have like a ton of leftovers. <gasps> oh, this is pretty. Okay. Now this one my dad has priced really, really well. I don't, I think it's a little too cheap. But anyways, um, he priced them. I don't think I showed you guys this one. Last time. Okay, so this is a white zircon, and it's a specialty cut. Um, it looks like the, it's the quantum cut. Um, I call it Starburst or Sunrise. And I know it's probably hard to see, but it's a pretty big stone. Let's see. Oops. It is an 8.75 carats of white zircon. Or, I'm sorry, white topaz. And it's a 16 by 12 millimeter oval. So, here's the back. It's kind of hard to see against my face. Okay, there we go. And that's the front. I mean, maybe against my blouse, you could see it a little better. So, that's that quantum cut. Like, um, it looks like it's shaved all the way down, like a little starburst, you know, all the way around it. And this is probably, these and topaz are my favorite stones. Topaz and zircons, I mean. Um, this is real. Did I tell you guys the price? I don't think I did. No, I didn't. It's 80 and it's real. Not lab or simulated or anything. Okay, next one. Hold on, let me put this back in the packaging. I don't think I showed you guys this time, oh, or these last time. Um, 
This is a little pricey. This is a Morganite, and I remember, I know that this is rare. My dad um, talks about it all the time. It's 1.95 carats, and it's a 12 by 8 millimeter round um, teardrop pear shape, whatever you want to call it, Morganite stone. This one is going to be pricier because it's rare. This is 200 and that's pretty, isn't it? So it's like a very pale, pale, pinkish. Yeah, you can see the pale pink. It reminds me of depression glass, that pink depression glass, which I love. <laughs> 200 on that one. That is pretty. Um, now, this one, what does it say? Uh, okay, this is a, is it pink? Lab gem, yes, definitely, Mike, you're right, because even though it's created in a lab, it's still the same elements to create that same gemstone. The only difference is it's not made in the, you know, the wild or outside in natural elements. But it's the same element compounds to make that um, gemstone. So absolutely, it doesn't mean that they're worthless or they're not worth as much. Um, I think a lot of people don't think that they are. Hi, Tiki. Layla, is it pink? Yes, it is like a pale, pale pink. Can you see it like at an angle? It's kind of hard. I'm tilting it and I'm like doing that with my face too. <laughs> so that's the um, Morganite and that one's 200. Now this one is lab created. So, like we talked about, doesn't mean it's any worth any less. It's just um, people have the consumption or the idea that it's not as valuable. Um, simulated is not real, but this is lab created. So this is 7.95 carats, and it's a 14 millimeter uh, round of xandrite and... Um, Oh, that is pretty. So this changes colors. You know how xandrite works, right? It's gray, it can be pink, purple. Wow. That's awesome, Kim. That's what I mean. I have an old wedding set that I bought from my aunt. She was in jewelry also. Um, and... My mom and dad taught her how to buy jewelry, and then she just took off. Anyways, I bought this old wedding set from her, and it had over a carat. It was like almost two carats, a diamond. Beautiful. But I, I don't wear it very often because um, I, I have to have it. Um, my dad, like, reset it. And um, it's from, like, the 20s. I love it. If I got remarried again, I would not even wear that as a wedding ring. As much as I love it, I would not want to wear it. Yeah, so did I tell you guys the price? Okay, so remember, this is a lab created. Doesn't mean it's worth any less, but this one is um, a Xandrite, and it's 140 and it's 14 millimeter round, 7.95 carats. Yes, my dad makes jewelry also. But not on YouTube. He, um, so he has a house um, in Nevada. He lives in the desert. But he's been here in California staying at my other house um, where I grew up. That's I bought it for my parents' house. Or I bought my parents' house from them years ago. And he's staying there. I have another tenant there. They get along great. But my dad had to come down for his surgery, so he had one in May. And he hasn't gone back. So... He needs to go back and pick up a little more jewelry. I don't know if he's going this coming week because he has a surgery on the 29th and he won't be able to drive up there and then there'll be snow and everything. But Sorry, 
Sorry, guys, I get thirsty. Um, oh, yeah, I'm going to show you guys this one. <clears throat> oh, that's the wrong one. Sorry. Nope. Not that one. That one someone already bought. <laughs> nope. All right, I have, I think, one more gemstone to show you. Um, I think I might have shown you guys this last time. It would be nice. I know, I know. I want him to let... Um, he has some pieces. Um, oh, I, should, I should dig him out. Um, he's been selling them recently to the little boutiques. Um... He's like Sandy. He doesn't take pictures or anything. He just goes there and shows them, and they know the value, and they buy them up. Thank you, Layla. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because my dad is elderly. Not elderly, elderly, but, you know, he's older, and he had a heart attack, and, you know, it's always scary with um, uh, uh, surgery. And he did get denied one time for his surgery the year prior, had to have it done this time. I was like just on pins and needles, and um, but he was fine. He did really, really good, and so now he's having the second surgery. Thank you, you guys. Yes, please. Thank you, thank you. And his name is Monroe, like Marilyn Monroe, but Monroe. So we all have old names. So Lori is just a second part of my first name, and my sister. We both have like they're not hyphenated, but they're two part first names. <laughs> Then we have, I don't actually have a middle name, and then I have like a, oh, it's like a confirmation name um, when you get baptized and confirm your religion when growing up, you know. But, um, yeah, we all have old names. My mom, my dad, my sister, myself, Monroe. I know I like that. So he calls his um, jewelry uh, by Mobo, so our last name is Boone. So, Mo, Bo, Jules. That's what he calls it. Um, okay, these are amethysts. Now, Mike, you're going to see what a deal you got on those amethysts that you bought. Because um, these are 75. Um, and they are actually a lot small. They're a lot smaller than what you got. They're checkerboard cut. And they're 75. And let's see. They are a 10 by 8 and 6 and a half carat oval. So 10 by 8 amethyst oval checkerboard. And these are 75. So we have a few of these. So you can make a set earrings, a pendant, or a ring, or just a ring and a pendant, or whatever. Um, but these are 75. So you can see the deal that you got on your amethyst too, because these are smaller. They're three carats smaller, um, but these are out of the mine. I don't remember what he said. Yeah, and they are darker purple, exactly. So these are 75 guys, and I have um, one, two, three, I have six of them, so you could make a set of whatever, and they're all from the same host, mine, all of that, so they're all the same color, or and grade also. Alrighty, let's get into the jewelry. I think I have so many gemstones, you guys, but I don't want to bore you with it. Um, we'll show some more next time. Um, this is a, a necklace that someone did buy it, but, um, they never, they never paid for it, um, or you know what I mean. And they kept saying they were going to pay me, going to pay me, but then they were on everyone else's auctions, but not paying me. <laughs> And I thought, oh, okay, well, that's okay. Um, so this is a 
Let me see what I wrote down. Sorry, I'm trying to... Okay, so it's a blue spinel, which my dad loves blue spinel. What is the price of all six? Kim, okay. Um, so, Kim, are you, like, wondering, like, each? Because uh, those... I know you said all six, but... There's 75 each, but you want me to see if you buy six, if my dad will give you, like, a different price? I could do that. Um, why don't you email me? It's Creative Lori, and Lori is spelled L-A-U-R-I, and then a two, at gmail.com. I'll put it in my description box once this video um, uploads. So my dad is in love with spinel, specifically black spinel. Hi, Kit! Oh, I'm good, Kit. My dad's good, too, but his surgery is coming up, so I always get really anxious before that. I think that's why I was up so late last night for a live. Oh. So this is a blue spinel. I know, my dad is in love with Thai black spinel. But this is a blue spinel, and let's see, what did I write? Um, so it's 3.25 carats, and it's a 10-millimeter round. It's lab created, and it is $60, and it does come with this sterling silver um, box chain ne or necklace. Sorry, I'm, I don't have my little um, mannequin to put it on. It's very simple and clean, but look at the blue. Looks like my eyeball right there. <laughs> um, so $60 on this one. It's a blue spinel lab created and uh, 10 millimeter round, 3.25 carats. And you also get the sterling silver um, necklace. So the bail on it is also sterling. Simple bail. It's really clean looking though. And nice color. I know, I know, Kit, I remember that. We gotta find something that you can wear. Can you remind me, Kit? Because I know you like jewelry, but you can't wear all the metals. Let me show you this next one. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Oops. Okay, this is a good deal. I'm surprised, sorry. I don't mean for you guys to look at my roots. <laughs> um, if you can hear snoring in the background, that's my little rescue dog. Her name is Lucky. So, this is a 7x5 millimeter um, oval. And it's Peridot, for any of you who are Peridot lovers. Um, I love lime green. It comes with the sterling silver necklace, so it's an oval. And you get the earrings, which I am going to take these out. Oops. And this set, so it's this, they're um, set in sterling. And the set, all from the same mine, same host, same color. It's a hundred dollars the set, which is a really great price for Peridot, Sterling, and being a set. So you get that, the set of earrings, and then the necklace. And I'm sorry I don't have my little mannequin here, but that's what it looks like. They're all oval. Maybe I should start getting my nails done for this, huh? <laughs> so that it looks more professional. <laughs> like, I love Anita's nails. Her nails are so pretty. Okay. And the box chains, are they come from Italy. They have really nice silver. Mexico too. And 
somewhere else. I can't remember. Okay, so that's that's all that I'm going to show as far as gemstones because I don't want to bore you if you're not a gemstone person. But I do have some Russian diopside I showed you guys last time. Um, if you're interested in something, just let me know. Email me. Let's get into the jewelry, the fun part, I think. Let me just put this away because I don't want these to drop. All right. I showed you guys that. Okay. Oh, yes. And Elizabeth, did you say Ray Dunn mug? Yeah. I've never had anything Ray Dunn. And um, my subscriber friend, she sent me this and it says, S'more, please. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Layla. Sorry. I wish there was like two, like someone talking or writing things down or answering emails. I mean, comments while I'm gathering things, but it's just me. So, all right, let's see here. I don't want to show you that. I don't think I showed you guys this last time. Mm -mm. But this is um, an amethyst ring, which is embossed around the setting, or the, okay, it says seven and three quarters, but it's actually an eight, so size eight. Thank you, I love the mug, it's so cute, I love it. Um, so it's an African amethyst. Uh, and it's a size 8, not 7.34. And this one is only 65. I'll push it down a little bit. Dark amethyst, which are nice, so they're rounds. Only 65. I like that the they're square, I guess, bezels. Oh, thank you, Layla. <laughs> You're so sweet. Layla, did I tell you that my uh, very first female tenant that moved in here, um, she was, she just came back from Egypt. And she did some missionary work there. And then she moved in. And um, we hit it off. She's like my sister. Um, I just love her to death. Oh, is that your birthstone, Kit? I think I remember you saying that. So this one's 65, really pretty purple, deep purple, size 8, guys, and yeah. Okay. <clears throat> um, do you guys want to see some Amatrine? I think I showed one of the Amatrines last time. I'm sorry, aquamarine. So this is um, an aquamarine with, I did show this one. Okay, I don't want to show it again, unless you guys want to see it. Let me show the one I didn't show. I might have shown this one too. It's, um, I did, I'm gonna show it anyways. It's a, an Espirito Santo aquamarine in platinum over sterling, size seven. 1.75 carats. And so there's three, so there's the rectangular, and then um, the three stones on each side. And I don't know why my, hold on guys, my phone is not charging and I don't know why. Hold on. One second. Oh my gosh, because I don't have it plugged in. <laughs> okay. Isn't that pretty? Um, my aunt had green eyes like this. They were so pretty. So the three stones are on the side. It looks like they are rounds. No. Let 
me hold on. Let me get my glasses on and I'll tell you guys. Um, <clears throat> Thank you, Kit. Bye. All right, so it looks like... Okay, so what it is is rounds on each side. So here's the rectangular, then there's the rounds, one on each side of the rectangular, then the teardrop. I'm sorry if it's not clear, guys. But it's platinum over sterling, size 7, and $60 on this one. And it's the Espirito Santo Aquamarine. I'll show you the one I showed you last week, just in case you like aquamarines. Um, this one is platinum over sterling, size 7. And it has a really nice um, filigree on the side of the setting. I don't know if you can see that. And then it has, so the three stones, which are a round. Oh, they're all three rounds the smaller on each side, and then it has like these really pretty cuts in, on the sides there. I don't know if you can see that. This fluorescent lighting doesn't help much, but okay. So that one is 50 on that one. And Okay, now I showed that. Let's use, let's do this. Let me show you this turquoise ring, because I think I meant to show it to you guys last time and I didn't, I got sidetracked. So this is a Mojave um, blue turquoise in sterling in just a gallery setting. I think maybe I did show it to you now that I think about it. It's a size seven and a half. Love that setting. See how it sits up high? And Layla, actually this kind of reminds me of Persian turquoise because of a little speck of gold that you see right there. Persian turquoise has like that gold running through it. It's beautiful. I just sold some about a month ago. It was a set. It was gorgeous. And... This is, this one's only 60. And it has like little cuts at the top of the setting bezel there. And you got the three prong ring. Isn't that pretty? I would say, oh, there's like a little bit of gold on the side too. So I'm not a fan of the, Sleeping Beauty turquoise. I just think it looks flat. It's only valuable because also the mine is closed. But um, I actually prefer this type of um, turquoise and like Persian turquoise where it has the gold veining. So pretty. Oops. Sorry guys, I just, my tripod <laughs> almost flipped over. Okay, sorry. Alright, this is um, Peridot, Hebe Peridot, Platinum Over Sterling, size 7, 4.16 carats, and it is a size 7. But let me resize that really quickly. Yeah, it's a 7. Okay. Just double checking. So it's got um, seven of the Peridot's rectangular, the graduation style, the big in the middle, and then it graduates down. It has beautiful filigree right on the main one. Um, let's see, maybe you can see. Oops, a tag on here under the main one only. 
Isn't that pretty? The pear dough. I love lime green. I, I decorate mainly lime green and white in um, the spring. I think it's so pretty just even on any color of skin, it looks good. If you're fair, if you have, um, if you're darker complected, it just looks pretty. What is this? I see. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay, this one's 60. Sorry, I couldn't read the writing. It's a nice, comfortable setting, size 7, Peridot. Hebe Peridot. Okay. The next one, let me push these aside. Lapis Lazuli. I think I'm going to show you guys some of that. I didn't show you this one or these. Okay, let me show you this first. So these are Santa Ana um, Madeira Citrines and Brazilian Citrines and Black Diamond um, in Platinum over Sterling. And it is 0.95 carats. That can't be right. I think it's supposed to say 1.95 for everything because, let me see. I think that's wrong. I think I meant to write 1.95 because let me show you why. So these are the Santa Ana Madeira Citrine. The Brazilian Citrines are a little bit lighter. They're more yellow where the Madeira uh, Citrine is like a, like an amber color. I know it's kind of hard to see there. There we go. So you have a Brazilian citrine on each side of the oval, the Madeira citrine, and then the black diamonds go all the way around. It's an interesting setting. It's pretty. And this one, size 7, and this one's 85. Now... I have two of these, so if you guys are interested for like a sister and sister-in-law. Um, also, the undercarriage is really nice. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's nicely made, so it's smooth on your finger. I don't know if you can see it, but um, really pretty, comfortable ring. Sometimes some rings aren't as comfortable, but this is a comfortable ring. Two of those, same style, same colors. They came from the same line. Bye, Layla. See you later. And that is 85. Are we running into the time where Sandy's going to be on? Let me know, guys. I don't want to cut into the auction. I think I should do that one. All right, next one. Is, I think this is Red Jasper. Yeah, Red Jasper and Platinum Over Sterling. It's a size 8, and I love this ring. This is really gorgeous. It sits high. It's a stunning piece. See how high it sits? It's embossed on the side. So here's the Jasper triangular. It's embossed on the side here. Then it has beautiful filigree all the way around. And it's also embossed under on the top part of the bezel. And then the filigree. That is red Jasper. Not pretty. Size eight. I love the burnt orange in it. Like it, it's really pretty. <laughs> I'm getting Facebook notifications. <laughs> I hope you guys can't see them. 
Oh, shoot. Go away. Sorry, guys. I disconnected for a second. Bye, Layla. Um, <laughs> this one's 60. So sorry. I disconnected. Isn't that pretty how it sits high? I love this ring. No, I cannot. Um, can you see me now? Did your father make that? No, he didn't. Actually, this isn't, nothing here is anything that my dad made. Um, he has made a couple pieces here since he's been in California, but he didn't have all of his tools, so he was kind of limited. But he brought down and he sold them to a boutique. Okay, good. Sorry. I disconnected by accident. <laughs> sorry, you guys. But I love it. I love this one. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. <laughs> I gotta be careful. Okay. Size 8. And that is um, platinum over sterling, $60. Okay. I guess I should do that one. Now, I didn't show you guys this last time. This was also from somebody who, um... Oh, hi, Davida. Are you at work right now on a break? <laughs> um... What's cool about this one, maybe so I don't botch it up. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Say hi to Fred Frank. <laughs> uh, this is a Galilee Rose Quartz South African Tiger's Eye Blue Howlite Onyx and a Simulated uh, Coral and White Austrian Ring. So I'll show you um, each stone but it's an interchangeable one. So I believe, yeah, I believe this is um, sterling, or stainless steel. Hi, Anna. Isn't that pretty? So this is the Austrian crystal around. You can see them all the way around. And then that's the tiger eye. And then you can take it out so it, it um, opens. Isn't that cool? And you take out the gemstone. That's the tiger's eye. And you can put in the Galilee quartz and it's magnets. So it, isn't that pretty? I like that one. And then it has the onyx. How are you, Anna? Then the Howlite. I like Howlite a lot, actually. That's the Howlite. Not pretty. I don't want to push it down because it's a little small on me. I'm good. I was up late last night, though. I just did like a Black Friday check in with everybody and alive. I'm kind of tired today because I, I went to bed late and I still got up early. Um, and then I couldn't find filters for my coffee. I was like, oh no, I need, I need coffee today for sure. <laughs> this is the simulated, um, coral. Isn't that cool? So this set, it's size seven. So it's 97 and a half carats total. So all of the stones I just showed you and the um, Austrian crystals. 97 and a half carats, size seven, and this one's $40, that's it. But it's a magnet, it's magnetized. So this is a cool gift for Christmas especially. So see how they have the magnets? And then you just close it. But it's stainless steel, but you're getting all of the gemstones. So this is a real, um, Galilee Quartz, Onyx, 
Tiger Eye, Tiger's Eye, the Howlite, and the Simulated Coral. And then, of course, the ring. Okay, I'm going to move on. Let's see. That's a cool little gift, I think. Davida, are you on your lunch break or like a little break? I started to watch your other video too, Davida, um, on the snowmen. Those were cute, really cute. I started watching it after my live and then I, I fell asleep, so I got to go back and watch it. Okay. Okay, this is a bit of a fashion jewelry piece. Um, so, it's a, um, I hope I'm saying this right, it's a Siberian Seraphonite, and with um, 18 karat, oh no, wait, 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 I take that back, that's a different one. Yeah, no, that's, sorry. Let me take that back. Different one. I'm not going to show that one. Because I can't remember what it was. Alright, this is actually technically a men's ring, but it's very small, so a woman could wear it. And it is a size... Well, maybe it's not a women's ring. Now I don't remember. But um, I can't see it being a men's ring. It's a size 6. And it's stainless steel, which it will not tarnish. Um, it's embossed on the sides there. And then it has embossing around the rectangular gemstone, which I think is onyx, or is it Thai? Oh, it's Thai spinel. Okay, so Thai black spinel, size 6. Isn't that pretty? So, for women who like chunky rings, it's a good ring, and it's a lot of spinel, <laughs> but it is a big ring, so um, I think it would look best on the ring finger, but it's a size 6. That throws me a little bit. Um, in stainless steel, and this one's $60 because of the Thai black spinel. Isn't that pretty? And I'm going to show a couple of men's rings. I don't think I showed all of them last time. I think I showed that one. I think I showed that one too. Okay, I don't think I showed this. Um, this is an oval amethyst um, and diamond ring. It's platinum over sterling, size 7. Isn't that pretty? And this one's 50. So you've got the oval in the middle of the amethyst, and then all around, and then little diamonds around the main oval of the amethyst. And then on the sides, you have the inlaid um, amethyst. And I can't tell if that's embossing. Okay, so it's just embossed metal on the sides. But I like how the amethysts are inset. And then the amethyst on the sides all the way around and the middle. Pretty. Size 7. 
Sorry guys, I can't, I'm trying to like write something and read what I wrote down. What time, how long have we been, okay. All right, next thing, let me take a sip of my tea. Ooh. I just found out something about green tea. You're only supposed to let it steep for three minutes and no longer because then it gets bitter, which I didn't know. I think that's why I've been having such a problem with drinking the green tea. Um, so I thought I'd pass it on. <laughs> I don't think I showed this one last time either. Um, this is also Hebe Peridot and White Topaz, which I love White Topaz more than diamonds, platinum over sterling, and this is a size 7, it's 3.06 carats, look at that, so the white toes are on the side here, right down like this, so there's two on each side, one, two, and then it's embossed on each side. And then the Hebe Peridot. Isn't that pretty? 3.06 carats. And that one is 50. Thank you, Elizabeth. What did you guys eat for Thanksgiving? I keep asking everyone because we had a really untraditional dinner. <laughs> we had a bunch of fish and uh, I couldn't find red snapper so we had salmon and catfish nuggets. I know that sounds lame but it's really really good and then my dad fried those and, um, and then we put the salmon in the oven and we had roasted vegetables, sweet potatoes, yams, onions, whole cloves of garlic, uh, scallion stems, um, and I tossed it with ginger and olive oil. Oh my gosh, it was so good, you guys. And then we also had stuffing, that cornbread stuffing that I put slightly thin, um, or very thinly sliced uh, zucchini in it. So good. Oh, that's right, Elizabeth. Yeah, that's right. Sorry. Um... And gosh, it was so good. I forgot that I had leftovers. <laughs> I want to eat them now. <laughs> and we didn't have the pie, which is good for me because I don't need the pie. All right. I'm going to get into a little bit of fashion jewelry, if that's okay with you guys. Um, let me show you this lapis lazuli real quick. Um, it's in sterling silver. It's a teardrop. Um, and it, it has, it looks like, I don't know, I think, I believe those are diamonds on the side. Um, hold on, let me read it. Yeah. And this one's 50. It's a teardrop. It's a really clean setting. <gasps> smoked turkey. I remember having that when I was a kid. We had smoked turkey. It was odd. Oh, really? Oh, I loved it because I, I stopped eating meat fully when I was 18. And I remember having smoked turkey right before the last Thanksgiving um, before I stopped eating meat. I just loved it. I thought it was so good. <laughs> I wouldn't mind having some smoked fish for next, you know, maybe for Christmas. And then I think my dad and I are going to make tamales again. Last year was our first time making the tamales and it was just... They were really good. I made shrimp ones for me, and he had the pulled pork that he made for him. Um, so good. So this lapis lazuli is $50. You know, I mean, I guess there's so many different ways to smoke um, meats, but I know that if you put too much, um, like that smoke, marinade or whatever, liquid smoke, it can overpower the smell and taste of the meat. And, um, but the one that we had was just so good. Oh my gosh. I would not mind having some smoked fish for 
um, Christmas as like an appetizer and then um, maybe some the tamales for dinner. And it'll just be my dad and I again. But Okay, this is just fashion jewelry, okay? So it's not anything um, special. It's just fashion jewelry. Uh, let me see if I can take it out. Oh, it's on this thing. Okay, maybe I won't take it out. Um, let me see if I can pull out the necklace. I don't want to, it's like tight on here. I don't want to, okay, hold on guys. Uh, let me do another one then. Okay, I'm going to put you guys on hold for one second. Oh, I missed that one comment. Hold on, let me look down here. Um, ooh, yeah, with a dip. I know, I know, you're right, you're right, Elizabeth. I mean, it's j just my dad and I, no one else. Um, but And he'll still be recouping from his surgery, so uh, no, no, we, believe me, it, we would rather it just be him and I, because I think I explained my sister and ugh, all that craziness. Um, and we're happy it's just going to be him and I. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put you guys on hold for a second. While I look at this really quick, hold on. Uh-oh. Okay. Let's look at... show you guys I think this will be the last piece um, unless I can dig around and find some more um, these were uh, someone from the last auction said they wanted them and then they they um, never got back to me so um, these are Santa Fe style and they're simulated multi gemstone um, earrings so they're simulated uh, lapis lazuli red coral um, turquoise um, not sure what that yellow one is but they're all inlaid and so there's um, ster sterling silver in between each of the um, cuts of or the gemstone which is a lot of work to put that silver in between each gemstone and put it together like a little puzzle. These were 30 and they're like little bears. Aren't they cute? Um, and they are sterling um, hooks and the inlay or the in between each inlay. So I got those. I think those are cute. <laughs> and I think I may have showed you a couple of these, so I don't want to be redundant. I do have some Thai black spinel. Um, and this is, so it's a trilogy ring in sterling, 1.56 uh, carats, and it's a size 7.5. Trilogy, meaning all the same size. It's Thai black spinel. And this one is only 50. Size seven and a half. Oh, what did that say? No, I missed it. Hold on, guys. Let me read this comment. I missed it on my phone. And, okay, lab pretty pretty gems are worth a lot less. The stones are just as hard, but no way. Near as expensive, yes. It's true, Judy, but they're not um, worthless. 
I should say. So they're the same elements that are the same, like uh, the elements that make up, let's say, a diamond. Um, and then if you make it in a lab, it's the same elements. It's just lab created versus in the wild. So, or in the natural element. <laughs> um, so for that reason, I think a lot of people really deem them as less valuable, but they're the exact same stone. It's just one is was created in a lab and one was in its natural element. And that's the difference. But these are, you must be talking about, oh, you were talking about the bear earrings. Okay. Um, this is black spinel. They're all ovals. They're in a trilogy. These are um, not lab created. They're real. And um, in sterling silver, 1.56 carats, size 7.5. And, and that is it, guys. I've pretty much um, I've shown you a couple of things already last weekend. And so until I get some more jewelry from my dad, I don't want to repetitively show you the same gemstones or rings. If you have any questions on any of the rings um, or gemstones that I showed you, just email me, which is creative lori, L A U R I, and then a two at gmail.com. And um, I'll answer any of your questions. And if I can't answer them, I'll have my dad answer them. Um, and then if you buy anything, um, it's within 48 hours through PayPal. Um, and like I said, it's my, not my jewelry, it's my dad's. So, um, you know, I can't extend uh, forever. It's like some people want to pay um, a little bit here and then it's like a month later. And so... Um, it's 48 hours, and I think that's pretty standard here on YouTube, but that is it, you guys. I do have some friend mail, but I think I want to do a separate video for that, a separate live maybe even. I know that Sandy goes on with her auction with MSP Auctions um, at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 8 o'clock East Coast Time. So um, we still have some time, so I might squeeze in my friend mail uh, live video and uh, from my dear friend Kathy. And um, anyways, guys, if you have any questions on any of the gemstones, rings, anything, fashion jewelry, or even from past um, videos, let me know. I'd be happy to answer them. And I do have some watches, but I believe I showed them last weekend, so I don't want to show those again but they are nice little gifts for christmas so if you have any interest just email me so guys that is it thank you for hanging in there with me and um i appreciate you stopping by and so hopefully i'll see you in the msp auctions uh they're auctioning off sandy's beautiful jewelry that she made and i watched the whole i think i watched the process for majority of the pieces at least four of them um, I'm not sure. <laughs> Hi, Tiki. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm going to log off for this live um, and jump back on to do my friend mail, uh, which is not jewelry. It's just, you know, decor stuff because that's normally my channel. But um, I might be starting my own jewelry channel so that it can be explicitly just gemstones and jewelry um he does have a lot of antique jewelry and um that he's collected over the years and he's decided to let go a lot of that the gemstones and the jewelry that he bought but a lot of the gemstones that he bought were from years ago and the mines are closed so they are valuable gemstones it's just that um you can no longer get them um because the mines are closed so any questions guys so until next time I'll be back on Saturday next Saturday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time um, I will try to set out send out a reminder I'm really bad about that I forget to do that now we have the capability with the community posts so I'll send one out Friday and just reminding you all that I'll be on at 1 o'clock next Saturday and if uh, anything changes I will let you know because that's right after my dad's surgery 
Sorry, I'm just checking to see the time on here. So, guys, have a wonderful day. It's still so beautiful here today. Um, I'm going to take the dogs out to go potty. <laughs> and then I'm going to come back and do the live for the friend mail. So, I'll see you all later. Have a blessed, blessed day. And I wish you all um, prayers if you need them. Let me know that too because I'd be happy to say a prayer for whatever you might be going through or your loved one or your even your fur baby. So um, I will talk to you guys all later. Bye.